Hello guys, Kanem here, bringing you episode 6 of my Penumbra walkthrough. And we left off in just coming into the storage room, where we meet loads of jumping puzzles and a zombie in a minute. Not in this room of course, just outside. So we need to build a kind of staircase if you like, up on top of this bookcase. But we need to uh, get this one down first, so let's just drop. Let's just drop it down. I'm going to use this one. Okay, it is pretty difficult, but... Oh well. Okay, you only need sort of a small gap so you, to rest on. So that should be enough. Like so. Jump. And then you can come down. And then Clarence speaks to you. It seems, yeah. The visual cortex of this monkey is certainly of a simplistic design. If I can just... There, you see? It's like molding clay. Hate to interrupt Is it now? you while you're showing off your logical problem solving. Let me put it more simply. You see what I want you to see. This guy's really beginning to piss me off now. Well, it won't work if you move around, will it? You can't look up the magician's sleeve. So... Uh, what we want to do now is because if we if we crouch under this and go under it the crate will crush us so what we need to do is put a box on it and another one just keep doing this until the crate falls it's kind of like a pressure plate underneath so we've got to be mindful of that just don't I don't want anyone getting squished okay if it's fallen now then we jump get a Barrel, jump on the barrel, jump there, and go across. There's, oh, there's a little teddy bear. And note that is no teddy bear, that is an artifact. I do want that. Artifacts are always good to have. Let me just put a barrel so I, on top of another barrel so I can not jump onto it. Or not jump onto this place, but... There we go. So I can just jump onto the barrel and get it. Uh, so once you've done that, you go on these bookcases and you have to sprint and jump onto the crate. It's pretty much a... you always can do it, if you see what I mean. Okay, there is a save here and uh, some notes next to it. So Richard Ennis, which is the guy who wants the saw. Let's just save. We are nothing. We are a mistake. We are nothing. Whoops. Release me. Let me out. This is not right. I should be with them. I am them. There should be no I. Yet this is not the first time. Another was infected. Red. He so wanted to, but we would not let him die. Did he call us a disease? Uh, so, what you want to do now is get to that lever. lever. You cannot get it from there for some reason, but just use a black box and two of the smaller crates and you should be there. So, come on. May actually have to use another one. There is no other ones. There is a small box here, though. That's not going to be helpful, is it? Okay, this box sucks. Okay, there we go. Just pull it down. Turn around. The the lasers have gone. So what? You need to be quite quick here. You run in and grab the uh, gas mask over there. Go back outside. I'm going to hotkey it to number four. Nope. I'm going to hotkey it to three. So you just run in. There's a lever on the left side when you immediately come in. And pull the lever. And then you, you can actually take your gas mask off and investigate this guy. His face is melted. I think I'm going to be sick. Nice, so 
Hmm, I don't actually have a clue of how to get out. Maybe I should just travel up the way that I came. I'm just going to save again. And, yes, let's climb back up. It should be fine. Yeah. Oops. Oh my god, that is a really screwed up laugh. Um, so, if you want to save, uh, do do it now. Uh, but I'm not, I pretty much already have, so just go outside and be, pair, be prepared to run to the computer central area. So just sprint, 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 the door explodes, the guy comes out. Just run, 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 machine room. Okay, this is the place which you have to go. So I might as well go down here, actually. It's getting a tad laggy. Just go in there. I'm going to do the computer central bit uh, later. Or after the machine room, anyway. So you can actually take your mask off now. And it's stuck. Okay, that light is annoying. So we go here, we move the barrels out of the way, we grab this stick, and we can see this door here. We hover the stick next to the door, and we rip the door off somehow. There we go. A massive explosion. Now if you thought there would be no boss battles, or like kind of massive battles with a massive monster in this game, then you thought wrong. And that is why I'm going to end the episode here, and I will continue it in episode 7. So thanks for watching.